Hi, this is Homai from Spitfire Audio with a breakdown of a demo using BBC SO Piano, Contemporary Drama Toolkit, Dan Keen Soft String Textures and OPW. I actually used chamber strings as well, but I only used the trill because I really needed it for a certain section, but I get to that in a bit. There's a lot of TV shows that feature a piano with a beautiful hazy sheen of atmospheric soundscapes and light percussion. So with that in mind, I wanted to put something together for you and then break it down. Let's have a listen first and see what you think. Okay, so let's start with the piano because that's where I started. The tone itself I think is really lovely. It's very clear. I quite often look for something that comes through a little bit more. And I think this one does it really nicely. What I played in first was slightly different to what you're seeing here. Very simple, but already I find it a little bit too repetitive and nothing against repetition, which I have going on later on as well. But I think just moving some of the notes around allows for it to say a little bit more. I added some delay on this one and for that I just used the Logic Stereo Delay just on quarter and eighth notes. And on the delay itself I added an EQ just to dampen the sound. I'll just solo that and play that back for you. On top of that I just had a few piano sprinkles. Mm -hmm. 
just to help with the atmospheric feel. I also added a classic reverse piano sound, always really lovely. What you can do here, or what I've done, is play back what I have so far, find notes that work on top of that line, and something I try to be aware of is the register of what I've played in already, so I wanted to make sure I'm out of it. I'm just played in uh, a few notes the octave above, really just at random. Then I added a delay to it just to make it sound a little bit busier. Bounced it into place, reversed it, then also added an EQ because I wanted the main piano to shine through more and added a tremolo for extra movement in the stereo field. Still being on a train of thought of trying to create this blanket of atmosphere, I was pulling out Contemporary Drama Toolkit. I think that library is just really good for that kind of stuff. If we look at the library itself, we have textual sounds here, pads, leads. There are some drone-like sounds in here too. Some that I really like is the electronic cello and electric violin. Sometimes I want to use a string-like sound, but maybe not something that's a straight-up clean violin. So these have been really beautifully processed. A really airy sound that you can find in here. The next one is a piano sound where the strings have been plucked and uh, also processed. And then I call this a drone because I'm just holding down these two notes. The idea here was to build this atmospheric bed that doesn't just have a chord held down all the way through, but also has some sort of movement in there that doesn't stick out too much, but kind of bubbles away in the background. I also had a sub coming in at this point, which is from the same library. I just had to shorten the release so the notes don't cross over. The Cynthia section was the first place I started looking to see whether I can scoop out any frequencies just because it accumulates fairly quickly, just layering so many different sounds. This is what I had so far with the piano, so let's have a little listen. Okay, so I already had a nice shimmer in there. The next thing I looked at was some strings from Dan Keen. This is honestly such a beautiful library. I try to use it whenever I can. It has a lot of character in there.
have a lot of reverb on the this is without Ah, so lovely. The only other string library that I used here is Chamber Strings, but it could have been any other library that had a trill or maybe even a tremolo. I just needed that little bit of excitement in here, which I think tremolos and trills are really good for, especially that section here. Just gives it a little lift. Then the last library that I have in here is OPW by Oliver Patrice Vader. And in this one, I actually specifically went for the percussion section that you can find in here. At bar nine, I wanted to come in with a little bit more pace and bring in this subtle rhythm. I didn't use any delay on here, but some of the patches actually have built-in delays. What's good about them is that they're actually tempo synced, so that comes in really handy. If we come back to the piano, at bar 10 is where I played in a slightly busy arpeggiated line. I played in, at first, something slightly more repetitive than what you see here at first. Again, trying to think back of changing and switching up some of the notes, just breaking that up slightly. And you can go further with it. I have try to implement it throughout, if we look further up this section. So again, there's these extra piano parts that I put in there to pull away from this repetitive line. Something I wanted to point out about the piano around bar 10 is, although the strings are having the lead at that point, I like the way the piano still comes through. I think it just sits really nicely amongst the rest of the instrumentation there. Look at the piece as a whole, you can already see that most of the atmospheric elements are further at the beginning. I didn't want to have it carry all the way through, I wanted to have some sort of dynamic of things coming in and out just to shape the overall piece. So you see it's a lot more sparse in this section, especially where the tempo is picking up. There are some tempo changes over here. And what's leading the way here mostly is the electronic violin and some soft strings, which I really like the combination of. If 
But coming towards the end of the section, I wanted to bring in that atmospheric feel one more time. In the piano part, this everything is played in without click at this point, just to have this lazier feel to it and trickling in the notes. This is what the strings are doing. Then Contemporary Drama Toolkit, I'm bringing in that sub one more time just to create a little bit more of a body around the end as well. And that's pretty much it. I hope there was something useful in there. Thank you so much for watching. With everything in mind, let's just play it back one more time. Thank you.